trolling in Minecraft is a classic way to prank someone, but almost every video I see about trolling has an absolutely 0% chance of working. Like, what? Do you really think anyone will actually fall for that? No! So what would happen if you try and troll real players on a real SMP? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna start off by pranking this guy. He brought me to his base thinking I'm gonna team with him. But little does he know that I'm gonna recreate his base block for block in the sky. He is going to be so mad. So let's start by destroying it. And now that I've mined the entire base, let me build up. Okay, to perfectly recreate every single block in there, I've downloaded this mod. It shows me exactly where to place every block. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. If you compare this base to the original, you literally cannot tell the difference. Besides the fact that it's 30 blocks in the sky. But it's not considered a troll unless we get the base owner's reaction. And after a few hours passed, he joined the game. Oh, finally, he joined. I'm pretty sure this is our guy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I see his name tag in his base. He probably has no idea where everything went. Okay, I'm just gonna message him. Come above your base. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's coming up just to see his whole entire base moved into the sky. He is so confused. Look at him. Look at him. He's just pacing around. There he is. Does he... Uh-oh. Oh, he found me. He found me. No, no, no. I cannot do this fight right now. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. The next troll involves suspending people 300 blocks in this sky and scaring the life out of them. Yeah, pretty menacing. So it's a pretty simple build, but I'll tell you, it is very effective. All right, now I'm in the sky on a single block. And you see the plan is we're just going to place a TNT right there. Build up a little more. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to TP someone right here, break these dirt blocks, and they'll spawn on top of that TNT block. And so I have this flame bow that I can point at them and it will scare them. I'm going to tell them to do stuff. And if they don't do it well, <laughs> they are going to drop hundreds of blocks. Oh, there we go. Someone accepted it. Okay, break these. I'm gonna tell them to look up. Hello? <laughs> you see what I have, face dragon? Start dancing or die. <laughs> Just making them dance. Drop your sword off or die. I'm giving you five seconds. Uh-oh, he has a pearl. Hit him, hit him. Okay. <laughs> you attempted to kill me. I'm gonna have to leave him down there. Considering the troll had worked so well, I decided I wanted to try it again. Little did I know what would happen. Wait, someone's here? Wait, someone's here? Oh, shoot. Fight. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, he popped my totem. Okay, water break and clutch, water break and clutch. Oh, okay, I hit that. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, he died. <laughs> How did that work? For how silly that troll was, I'm surprised it kind of worked. But I still have a lot of better trolls to do. Starting with this lodestone. Yeah, seems kind of boring, but this is easily going to be the funniest troll yet. So when we right-click this with a compass, the compass will now always point in the direction of the lodestone. Meaning if I give this to a random person, they'll follow the compass all the way to this lodestone with nothing here. So I have a home set at some random person's base. So let me quickly go there, put this compass in a chest, and boom. Let's wait for the base owner to log online. And soon enough, the victim did just that. Okay, I think they found the chest. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, they're holding the compass. That sign I put on the chest says to follow it. They're, they're confused. They probably don't know how I feel on their base. Oh, there he is. Bro, he's actually following it. Now, one little minuscule detail I left out about this troll. So, you know that lodestone I placed down? That lodestone is 100,000 blocks away from this base. This random guy is going to be following the compass for 100,000 blocks, literal hours, just to arrive at nothing. But, um, that is, uh, 100,000 blocks away. This is gonna take a while. We'll check back in on this guy later in the video. So, for now, I'm gonna make a parkour course. The only thing is, this parkour course is going to be impossible to complete. Now, you might be wondering, how is this even possible? But let me quickly go to a home I have set in the end. Make a super simple parkour course quickly. All right, here we go. The thing that makes this impossible is this simple mechanism right here. If you try and walk into this open two block hole here, it won't work. You'll fall and die. But if you jump at the perfect time, you can get through it just like normal. So I'm gonna bring someone here and lead them through this parkour course. And when we get to the head hitter, I'll be able to get through just like normal. And while they, let's just say they're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> okay, I messaged this Viking guy. He wants to try the parkour course. He said yes. Okay, okay, he's here. Okay, I'll show him how to do it. So you see, listen, this is completely possible. Come on, jump. Okay, you just come over here. Oh, <laughs> he fell off. <laughs> this other guy in chat says, can I try? Of course you could try it. <laughs> Hello? He's going, he's going. Bruh. Oh, wait, he knew. <laughs> <laughs> He knew how to do the head hitter, but, but <laughs> he failed this easy jump. Okay, I okay, got another person to come. Let's see if he can do it. <laughs> oh, what? He's back here. Oh, uh, and he's just going again. You're just going to keep on dying, man. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he brought his friend. We're going to have two people try the impossible parkour course. <laughs> he fell off again. <laughs> Why? Why are they still trying to complete this? <laughs> oh, oh, one of them got past. Oh, they both got past. I'm going to have to kill both of them. 
Anyways, let's check back up on Mr. Lodestone guy. Okay, quick update on this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised he's still going. We're about um, 30,000 of the 100,000 blocks, but he's eating rotten flesh. He's out of food completely. <laughs> Zombies and spiders are attacking him. Uh, I'm actually kind of scared he's gonna die here. He's spam clicking. We might have chose the wrong guy for this troll. Oh, and he's back on his journey. Well, uh, if something else interesting happens, I'll let you guys know. So, on to another troll. For this next method of trolling, I'm going to ruin people's lives. Well, kinda. So, everyone knows how a pumpkin does this to your screen, right? It is so annoying. Well, if I put this curse of binding enchant on it, now when someone wears it, it's impossible to take off. Meaning your screen will be stuck like this forever. So, I'm gonna try and get as many people to wear this as possible. And to easily do that, I just need to build this simple contraption, and boom. So, now if I can get someone to stand on this slab, I just have to push this button, and it will dispense the pumpkin onto their head. So, let's bring some people here. Okay, here we go. I teleported someone here. I'll just give him stuff to act like we're teamed. Let's see, let's see if we can get this guy here. Okay, we just gotta punch him, and when he comes in here, we're just gonna punch him to the corner. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. I pushed him on. He has the pumpkin. <laughs> no, no, he's trying to hit me. Hello. He is mad. <laughs> he's just punching me. Do you know I can one-shot you, Dolphrey? I can one-shot you. No. Kill? He wants me to kill him. Nah, I'm, I'm not gonna kill you. You're, you're stuck with that. Oh, man, that was good. Let's get a pumpkin on another person. All right, step right in. All right, I did it. <laughs> How do you like that, man? How do you like that? I told him, do a dance and I'll take it off for you. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm not taking that pumpkin off him. I'm just gonna leave him like this. On to the next troll. Now, I have a question. What would you do if one day you were peacefully farming, breeding animals, and just in general having a good time? But then you hear some crackles. It sounds like lava. You look up to see imminent destruction. Hundreds of blocks of lava about to engulf your entire base in the next 20 seconds. Would you even try to save it? Well, this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing to people. All right, so I managed to find a base and I built the contraption above it. There's like 50 signs connected to this single moss block right here. So if I destroy this, a chain reaction of all the signs breaking will occur. So I just gotta wait for the person who owns this base to log on. Oh, there he is, there he is. I see him. Okay, okay. Look at him, bro. He's just standing there in the middle of those sheep. Bro, the last thing he's expecting is his entire base to just be swallowed. That's exactly what's gonna happen, though. Mrs. Pokemon fan, look up. Okay, ready? We're doing this. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's see what he's gonna do. Oh my god. Yeah, he's in shock, man. He's probably as hard as beating. He's staring up at the sky. Is he gonna try to stop it? Oh, he's trying to put water on his house. <laughs> that is not gonna save it. You have about 20 seconds until your entire base is engulfed by this lava. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did he give up? Bro, he's just killing his cows before the lava gets them. Oh, shit, he's trying to throw a pearl up here. <laughs> you think that's gonna do anything? Nope. <laughs> there we go. The lava has made contact with the base. Even going into the main part of the base now. These villagers are all gonna die. <laughs> oh, shoot, I fell down. Okay, I gotta get out of here before those guys kill me. Even though I can do destruction like this, doesn't mean I'm invincible. Anyways, let's do another update on that guy running 100,000 blocks. Oh, what? He, he's on a horse. Wait, I was a little bit behind. I just caught up. Oh, shoot, that's a fast horse. We gotta kill that thing. He's gonna outrun me. Come on, we're 70,000 blocks out. I cannot lose him here. Please be at this village. Oh, bro, I'm screwed. Where? Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Wait, is he mining wheat? What? Oh, thank God, man. I thought I lost him. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna kill his horse. What is he gonna do if I kill his horse? Ready? Boom. Yours is dead. He doesn't even care. He just really wants to mine this wheat. I think he was mining that wheat to give to his horse. He doesn't know where his horse is now. No, no, the horse is not down in that cave. Right, your horse is dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> he's he's leaving. He's so determined to find this prize, man. There's no prize. <laughs> he's gonna find that out sooner or later. Anyways, while we continue to travel the remaining 30,000 blocks, let me do one final troll. To pull this off, I'm gonna combine five different trolls to make the most effective troll of the video. And to disguise it, I've incorporated all of these trolls into what appears to be a normal base. Little does the victim know that it's gonna be a death trap. But first, I wanna tell you that my channel is actually still kinda new. I only posted my first video nine months ago, meaning if you want to subscribe before my one-year anniversary, you still can. Claim your one-year OG ticket now. Anyways, back to the troll. So, I started by TPing someone that I knew was in full netherite armor. Thankfully, they accepted it, so I started to provoke them. Okay, they're full netherite. This is perfect. All right, I'm just gonna hit you a few times if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, kill me, kill me. Quickly, he fought back and killed me. So now, it was time to initiate phase two. He brought his friend there, and then they jumped into my base thinking they were gonna raid it. Oh, one of them jumped down. The first troll was right at the entrance of the base. And as soon as I press the button to open the door, well, this happened. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. The alarm went off. They're going to go up to investigate it. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, they had crystals. The loud alarm troll had made him want to blow up the roof to stop it. But little did he know, I prepared for that. Oh, the mobs are... <laughs> 
<laughs> they tried to blow it up. That's not gonna work, bro. I had laced the roof with mobs like creepers and skeletons to teach him a lesson of not blowing up people's bases. Oh, he's blowing up more crystals. But that wasn't it. As he continued through the base, he arrived at the next troll. All he had to do was hop on the flying machine, activate it, and TNT would rain down from the roof, blowing him up into lava. Nothing could go wrong. But what? They're just building around it. Come on, man. This size has no cheating. What are you doing? He's not using the flying machine. This is what you get. TNT, baby. TNT. <laughs> this is what you get when you try to break the rules. Now, the remaining victim made his way to the final troll. Easily the most deadly troll of the video. Disguised as the entrance to a storage room, this minecart track slowly creeps into a hole filled with TNT minecarts. But not just a single hole. There are 20 holes around this. All filled to the brim with TNT minecarts. That will make an enormous explosion within a second of it activating. Okay, he's in the room. Read the sign. No cheating. Go down in a minecart. Oh, he's just gonna walk down, I guess. Come on, I need him to walk into this. Please work. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. If that was not a good troll, I don't know what was. Now, finally, let's check in on Begum Possum's reaction to walking 100,000 blocks to nothing. Wait, is this? It's like right here. <laughs> Begum Possum. We've been doing this for like seven hours now. There it is. There it is. He's reading the sign. Congrats. You walked all this way for nothing. Sorry. <laughs> he, he's, he's just staring at it. <laughs> He's not moved his head at all. Uh, hello? Oh, he moved. What, what is he gonna do? Is he, is he gonna say anything in chat? What? Is he, is he walking back to his base? What? He just walked 100,000 blocks in this direction. He's just going back. He didn't say anything. Well, if there's one thing we've learned from this video, it's that people are really, really, really stupid. Especially Big Impossum. He is the stupidest.